Well, right now I am uh, doing some orders in Newcastle on my way to uh, Taco Bell to pick up a couple. Uh, it's been a busy day. Of course, no one wants to get out in the rain. Uh, yeah, so I do miss uh, the city in the car and not having to get out in the bad weather. But at least this is some more exercise for myself. So I'm just thinking of everything positively. It seemed like a calm, wet night. The good thing about a small area like Newcastle, Indiana, is there's not a lot of cars on the road at this hour. The reason, one of the reasons I don't do stick in like Newcastle all the time, there's a few different reasons, is, um, yeah, Mussy is not that far of a drive and it's a college town, so a lot of college students ordering stuff and everything. And if I really drive a little bit further, Indianapolis, but I really don't like to work downtown Indianapolis because parking is terrible. And every time I double park to pick up an order, I'm afraid of leaving the car on and someone stealing the car or turning the car off. And by the time I get the food come back out, uh, it doesn't start or it just getting towed, be towed away or something or getting a ticket. Yeah, so I really, really, really stress out when I'm in an area like that. At least we're doing uh, Lyft and Uber. I'm sitting in the car the whole time. So if I'm approached asking, hey, how come I double parked or anything? Um, I could tell them and tell them why and yeah. I can't wait to get home get these wet clothes off of me, especially my wet socks, and I definitely need to buy a new pair of shoes soon. I'm constantly, I'm still constantly, okay. Other than the cyber bully messages that one morning, right now I'm just getting like fake people texting my phone. Uh, pretending to be beautiful women and everything and all that stuff and I'm not sure how to get my phone number I get I give them the third degree and they give me a BS story and I pretend I believe the BS story and hoping they will slip up oops sorry about that uh, warning message came up on my device. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just hoping they would slip up and reveal something about them so I can figure out who they are and all that stuff because I know they're just trying to mess with me and everything. So if they want to mess with me, then okay, fine. But I, I do have my suspicions. And I do have a good idea uh, who it is and everything because they did contact people on my friends list, calling one of them with a voice changer and everything else. So, yeah, and that person that they call says he believes it's two people, one male, one female. So, yeah, um... Yeah, but like, yeah, it's like, it's hard why you could figure out a few aspects of the person. It's hard to, like, uh, figure out who it, exactly because a voice chaser changes their voice. So it's not like I could send them a video recording 
of a few people and ask them, hey, does it sound like anything like this? Because it's too hard to tell that he was using a voice changer. <sighs> well, I'm at the restaurant, so let me get these orders. Uh, this might be my last update of the night. So if it is, good night. If it's not, then I'll see you in a little bit.